Welcome again to Sarah Network Discoveries in Education with me, Samara Laitilo. As I've been going around different learning institutions to assess the education system in those institutions, the challenges they have been facing, and how effective the free and quality education looks like in those institutions. At Collegiate Secondary School, we spoke to the students and the teachers, and this is what they have to say. Hello, welcome to Sierra Network Discoveries in Education. Me and Samira Laitelo. You can please tell viewers them your name. Well, David Amadou Kawansi is the name of the nobleman standing in front of you guys. And we are live at the WAM West Africa Methodist College School Compound. So, um, we want to know how long you don't in this school? Well, I've been in this school since SS1, SS2, and right currently SS3, ma. So I've been here maybe like four years. And you are, you're not waiting at the school? Well, I am the first gentleman of the school, otherwise known as the day head boy of the school, ma. Okay, so today we can't work out here now on our school. One know that the challenges they want to face and now the, um, the school here yes. and the constraints they want to get and how the book learning business look like. Well, first of all, I'll start with the learning, learning platform. <clears throat> well, first, we are not having a library, but now with the grace of God and the new administrative we are having, now we are having an, a library, we can say it's full, but what God gives you, you manage it. So we, the learning platform right now yeah, is very good, man. Much I can sell and we can boast of it that coming this year and next year, academic year, we can make it, man. Because I is saying that colleges, uh, I could, Colleges and they do better, but now we they change the mindset of the people that indeed in terms of education we can do it. They can know our names in the media. The world can even know us that hey, college is taking a new dimension in terms of education and system. Now any constraint, we are doing a lot of constraint because we can see um the the free education and system. We are not having the books that uh, the Ministry of Education promised to give, but still. Without that, we, we tighten our seat back that although, yes, the Minister of Education did not supply us, but we have to, you know, write to our old boys that, you know, you guys have to remember us. You pass through this school. This school is your alma mentor. So you have to give back. So they taught it feet that, hey, yes, the head boy has right to us that they taught it feet. So they try to supply us some books where we can use for the exam coming for us that are sitting in the worst, man, for the exam coming and also the GSS. So we are good to go in terms of education as well. So um, you, you talk about the books. Yes. So how this don't they affect on our education? Because you, you just talk, say, no, no, get enough books. The ministry or the government not provide on with enough materials, learning materials. So how this don't they affect on our, the students then? Well, I can say it's not too much because with the help of the, uh, the, 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 the old boys association because we write so we an image is effects that the principal due to something lapses this our this our our, our our lapses we are facing as a peoples of this school we need this and this and this to put in measures for us to tackle this educational system for us to pursue our goals so the principal cannot is no say okay yes my boys, I have to work for my boys. So we send help to the old boys association and both in and out of the diaspora. So they come in now and in it, provide for us some of these books. So we thank God we are good to go. So you, are, as being a student, you know about a lot of examination malpractice, where they happen at the public exams, at the WAG, the Becker, and the MPSC. What do you feel is the reason for that or not the cause of that? Now we can uh, divide that one into two. Now, for example, the, 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 the ministry and also the parent. Now the ministry, maybe some of these schools that are in the provinces or in the, in the Freetown municipality, they do not have the, 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 you know, the books because government said they are going to give that the, any English, the main core subject, wise parents we are not there to, you know, say emphasize, you know, hey, you have to study. Education can, you know, give you a lot in life. I can give you what I have, but through education, it can give back and in return. So parents, we are not, you know, they need to emphasize on, you have to study, you have to, uh, so to if you take the book, put on and you aid. But parents, we are not there. So uh, they like too much lapses in terms of that. So we can divide that into two. Okay, so you get any last words to give to your company students them out there, the teachers, and to the one already before the book learning business? Yes, ma'am. So teachers, love the job, do it, avoid in, in corruption, marginalization, nepotism, and the rest of that. Love the job you do, and also 
pray to God for more endurance and effort. As a people, take your book, study hard, education is the key. You know, when you learn, you have to give back to the world, to your family, everything. So that's all I can say, man. Okay, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you, man. Hello, welcome to Sierra Network Discoveries in Education. Me na Samira Laitelo. You can please tell viewers them your name. Yes, I'm Joseph Bangua, the deputy head of the West African Methodist College School. Um, you can please tell viewers that how long you don't take na this school? I've been here for complete three years, since SS1, SS2, and SS3. So um, today we can work on our school. We want to know how the book learning business look like na the school, and the challenges that we want to face here na the school. Okay. For now, I will say everything is okay. But when I came here in SSS1, the learning system was very poor because some um, teachers were not coming to class and punctuality was not there. They were not teaching us, books were not there. But since the government said um, they are going to provide free education for us, the free education is there, but I'm not seeing the quality. The quality is what I'm not seeing because they promise to supply us books, pens, and all other stuff. We have not, if you can check the old school, not even one pupil has received any book from the government, not even one exercise book or textbook from the government. So I would say the, 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 the quality is not there, the free education is there because we are no longer paying school fees again, but the, the quality is not there. When you talk about quality, you know, it, it, it should go well, but the quality is not there. Even the school bus that they provide, you know, we are still paying 1,000 euros to, to get into that school bus. And the school bus are not even enough. Sometimes, we, by the time we off, we, we meet two school bus already full with pupils. So we have to take extra transport to go to our houses again. So that are some of the challenges that we are facing. Okay, so talking about how the learning system then at the school, Disciplining, um, disciplining measures. <laughs> now, one thing we in a part of education. Yeah. So, like, which kind of disciplinary measures they don't put in place for Una for CC? The college that they are now are two different colleges. Well, when I came here in SSS one, there were no rules in this school. People can play to and see. During lunch, by 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 eleven twenty, the gate is widely open, so whosoever wants to go home, you can go. The fence, they will not even even if I I, I see you, I, I saw you um, scaling the fence, I'll not even say a word, even if I'm the head boy or the prefect. But ever since we have our new principal now, as you can see, the gate man there is very very let me sorry for the word, it's very bloody. Mr. Mamed, it does not allow any people to leave this school compound until two o'clock. Even if, even with my badge as the deputy head boy, it does not allow me to go outside even to buy food. If I want to go, I should leave my bag. And then, um, if you are caught scaling the, fen the, 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 the fence, you are going home. Definitely, they are going to call a devotion for you, and then um, they will strip off their badge from you, the uniform, and you are going home. They will call your parents. That is why each and every people that is ascending the West African Methodist College School, um, your parents' number is with the, the principal, either your father or your mother. So they give them a call and will call devotion for you and then you leave the school. They've done that to over three peoples. So with that, you know, when you show people example, others will, will obey by the law. But if, if you go behind the school building now, you not see a single people there. When I came here in SSS1, the, 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 the last principal that we were having before we changed to so Mr. Koroma, at the back of the school looks like um, the canteen where everybody go and purchase food. But now you cannot see a single people there. When he came, that was his first law. If you are caught behind there, you go for two weeks. So now people are really obeying. And to us, the, 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 the deputy head boy, the, the senior prefect, the head boy, and our uh, uh, administrative board, we are really working because we, we, we are working out to decentness. Boys that we are usually standing at convent gates, we, we normally go there now and um, trace them. If you are caught there, you come to school, you wear white for one month. And then um, you will not go home and tell your parents and tell your parents that... Um, Mama, they don't give me white, so you're not going to isolate your parents every day. So everyone is afraid now. So if you go to convents by 2 o'clock, you will not see a single collision there. Yes. Hello, welcome to Sarah Network Discoveries in Education. Me na Samira Laitolo. You can please serve you as their your name. Well, my name is Benjamin Alfonso Top, a PPS of the Great West Africa Methodist College School, and I'm in SS2. If, um, you can please serve you as them. How long you don't do at this school, and what are you at this school? Well... I've taken two years in the school, and I'm a prefect of the school. 
Okay, so today we can't work on our school. I know how the book learning business looks like now the school and the constraint they want to face. Well, the educational um, system in West Africa, mentally scholarship school, I must say it has been impressive because um, we, the teachers are committed, the teachers are dedicated, the teachers only want to see the success of the pupils and also they're trying their level best to see that collegiate school um, um, proves to the entire Sierra Leone that indeed we have changed and we have taken a new turn and now um, result is now our priority. To make result is now our priority. People in Gowano, how committed are the teachers and the principal? Where you, because you just the praise say now improvement on Kanauna school. So how com committed are they? Um, they are committed because by then when um the former principal was here, there are some teachers they don't come to class. They don't come for them to to teach that that time that they should teach us. There are some teachers also who conduct extra classes. We are in if they have to teach us a particular period, they don't teach us. So they spend all their time in what extra classes. So by then the principal the, the principal that we have in the former the former principal we are not taking all those things into consideration. But we thank God now for the principal now is he makes sure that he check on all the teachers if they are present for a particular period. So if he find out that there is no teacher for that time, he have to take it into consideration. So but as well as the teachers also, we thank them for their efforts. Although by then, some teachers were, were so laggard, but for now, we thank God for the new principal, for helping us to have a good teaching in the West African Methodist College School as well. So you have any last words to give to your fellow students out there, the teachers and to the government? And the thing that I would like to, okay, the last word that I would like to say to we these peoples, because for now we are peoples, we, are not, we have not yet Gone to the go to the university yet, and for we the peoples, I would like to ask you all to be studying. You know, the teaching doesn't mean that when the teacher teach you, make you a better student. You, the very students, have to contribute towards your, to your, towards yourself because the teachers can only the teachers can only teach you for you to. to the teachers are only there to guide you. But the people of yourself, you have to what? You have to contribute towards your, your, your achievement because if you learn your book today, you are not going to help the teachers. You are going to learn for yourself, not even your, your, your mother or your father or any other person else. But, yeah, but, but when you learn book today, you are learning for yourself. And also, if you like, by then, let me say, if you learn your book now, if you want, if you help your teacher or any other person that you may think of. So for the government, I thank them all for their effort. You know, we, we all know that it is not easy, but we thank them for their effort and may God continue to bless them for them to continue their good work that they have started. And may God make them to continue. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, welcome to Sarah Network Discoveries in Education. Me and Samra Laitolo. You can please serve you as the your name. My name is Quintilia Valerie Purat. Okay, um, you can tell viewers then, what are you at this school? Quintilia Valerie Purat, I'm a senior teacher in this school. I'm the head of guidance and council. I've taught in this school right. for 20 years. Okay, ma'am, so today we can't work on our school. We want to know how the book learning business looks like now. The school and the constraint then, what are they face? Well, in our school, as you yourself can testify when you came, you, you saw us in class. In every classroom has got a teacher by teaching the boys. The, the learning environment is very good in the WM College School because the principal, the vice principal, they monitor, they make sure that teachers go to class, they teach them very well because we want our school to excel. We want to be results oriented. So they make sure that teachers go to class and we will help us get to make sure that teachers teach the boys. So I want to ask the teachers then, we not say government don't care with this free and quality education. So what do you want to do for make sure say they really want to implement another school then? 
like in our school, we are doing our level best because we are teaching the boys. We are going the extra miles to teach them. Because you know our school was being noted for being bad, cancerizing. So our the school has taken a U-turn both in discipline and also now wants results. So we are going the extra mile to make sure we teach our boys so they can have very good results in both the Beck and the WAS. So in complementing government's efforts. So we teach them very well. That's why the teachers are having their own constraints. So um, people go on now out there. How long on a don improve pan the changes of the school? Because one of the talks say now on a don improve, and the people go on know the improvement now on waiting. Now they grades then they don't improve. Now they they not they fat fat again as soon as say the dis, the disciplinary measures. For the past for the past one year. For the past one year, in terms of discipline, in terms of education, in terms of teaching, in terms of everything, extracurricular activity, everything, every sector of the school, we have changed for the good, for the, for the better. Every aspect of the school, we have changed in terms of discipline. In fact, in terms of discipline, even the world can commend us. In terms of education, even the boys can say it. Teachers go to school because we want our school in the next two years to be the best school in the, 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 the entire Sierra Leone. Hello, welcome to Sierra Network Discoveries in Education. Me na Samira Laitilo. You can please tell people your name. Me na Mr. Marco Sheku Conte. Yes, sir. So you can please tell people your name. you na this school? I uh, mean, a senior teacher and also head of department for the social sciences. You can please tell me how long you don't teach at this school? Uh, I don't teach at this school for over 15 years. So today, um, we can't work here now in our school. We want to know how the book learning business looks like at the school and the challenges they want to get, the constraints they want to face. Well, the school as a whole, uh, some amount of learning they take place. Although there are other challenges, as you don't highlight. Challenges like waiting, you can tell me. Okay, for instance, we did discover, say, uh, the Peking and the kind of school, some of them all get the teaching and the learning materials. And we the teachers them back, we not can get the teaching materials. And that can create a problem in the learning process. Um, for instance, uh, there are certain subjects them, like literature. If they teach literature, it's very nice for the people uh, picking themselves, getting textbooks. Okay, areas like mathematics also, you find like they picking and get the uh, textbook. But you find out say even the books there uh, with the Ministry of Education assigned to the schools, then they are not enough. You know, so this has been the problem. We go to the other subject like history, like governments, okay? They don't get um, prescribed books there with the Ministry of Education, they prescribe for the various uh, subjects uh, like history and government. So past the teachers and can go around, shards come with materials uh, And at the end of the day, the other problem would be faced by this giving of notes. This time they make, we find them very difficult for Com uh, complete the syllabus. So assuming, say, if they pick in and get the textbooks them, at the various subjects them, okay, we'll find out so we'll speed up and complete the, the syllabus at the various subjects them. So given that now you say they don't change, they may want to be in the discipline them, because we're not to use the cane again. Yes, yes. So which other measures are not put in place? Well, some of we, what I can do when it cause problem I come, I said, let kneel down, okay? But even when they kneel down, they suddenly so begin to misbehave back, you know? So this is a problem. You can tell us, they put your hand up, they put your hand back, and they misbehave, they begin to talk. So this is a problem. You know, this is not a problem mode of faith. We don't get alternative measures how for instill discipline, but still we face problems, you know? So this is a... Okay, so um, 
we know a lot of examination malpractice over the years um, have been going on and still they continue. So um, people out there go on what to make this to take place and then school them and they go on know why it still they happen at the government examination there. Okay, this thing, I can say it don't become a culture. Okay, they start from the primary school. Okay. Some picking and kid that then kid don't inculcate that particular uh, attitude from the primary school. They come with into the secondary school. Okay, so this is a serious problem. Okay, and also some of who the teachers are back would condone this particular thing because as picking and give money, so understand me, okay, especially them public exams here, as they give money, so man, they're ready for open way for them for let them spy. So it don't become a culture. You know, so this is a serious problem what they face as a nation. Okay, even classroom examination, okay, where they get them tests, they the spy. If you're not vigilant, understand me, at the end of the day, many of them they spy. You have to be very vigilant to the teacher. So this has become a culture and therefore snap as a nation for try for um, uh, alleviate this particular situation. Okay, so you get um, any last word for you to the the company teachers that are out there, to the pupils that are out there, and to the one that we did before the book learning business. Okay, so all the things I appeal to people, to my colleague teachers. Okay, let us always treat them we pick out the teachers as we own picking them. Look it and the best. Okay, and this thing now don't become endemic, which is this spine. Law all come together, we'll put an end to that. Law put money aside. So the people say, and they beg them, the phone here, this social media, phonography, no get for benefits them. Let them embrace their, their book. At the end of the day, we will make Sierra Leone a better nation. Yeah, thank you very much, sir, for talking to me. Yes. Okay, you are, you are welcome. Those were the students and teachers of the Collegiate Secondary School where they spoke about how the education system looks like in the school, the challenges they have been facing, and their expectation from the government. My name is Samara Laitelo, and this is where the program will come to an end. I want to say thank you to my executive producer, Dr. Aisa Tupake Jalo, to my cameraman, Justice E.M. Tijan, until we meet again, salam.